Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Virtu Toy Channel. Okay, uh, new news uh, uh, recording site. Um, not actually new. This is on loan. Uh, this actually this display actually belongs to uh, Monster Miniature. Uh, because they they he has a he has a display set up here in uh, Collector's Cube. So I thought a fresh uh, a, a fresh uh, look. Uh, that I can share with you guys. Uh, so I, what I'll do is this time around, what I want to share with you is the latest release from Eno, uh, Eno sixty four. The <laughs> very the previous round I shared with you the white color, right? The two different um, um, white versions. One is the stock, and then the mod version. Okay, then immediately came um, this blue, the blue version, and and ah, uh, we're gonna check out. We're gonna check this one out. This one is actually very nice. This is actually very nice. Okay, so a quick shout out to Monster Miniature. Um, do follow him on Facebook and he's also on Instagram. Uh, uh, do hit him up there. Mo um, the stuff that he do, right, actually, uh, he does a lot of figures, he does a lot of accessories, so do you, you can hit him up. Or you can even check out um, Collector's Cube as well. That's uh, Q-U-B-E on Facebook. Uh, that's where I spend most of my time doing um, Facebook Live. Uh, we do a lot of live unboxing almost daily um it's just that we're gonna take a short uh chinese new year break uh next week so we will be back by 4th february um so i just want to make a quick uh happy chinese new year happy new lunar new year to everyone okay so um the white version right in the previous two white two two white versions came with the red motor compo and the biggest difference is uh the color of course and also the blue version right came with a white uh motor compo Okay, so that that is uh, uh one of the the key difference. Um, this one, uh, let, let me just try again because it does look like it's a separate piece. It does look like you can fold it, but no, you can't. You can't fold it because the last time around in that video, right? I tried to fit it into the back of the the Honda City Turbo, uh, but no, not able to fit it in. Um, so this is actually very very similar. The interior as well is very similar to the one in white. The engine details is the same as well as I can tell. Let me just open it up for you. Okay, just a quick one. There we go. It's it's pretty much the same as well. Okay, and at the back, uh, the number plates are different. Okay, however, the opening mechanism, the tail lights, the the hype, the hyper turbo sticker. I if I recall correctly, is the same. Um, the wheels though, the rims. Now these rims is actually a set of uh, stock rims compared to the mod version. Uh, the mod version is um, aftermarket, aftermarket rims. Okay, this one main thing actually I want to check out the back of it. Yeah, Hy Hyper Turbo Two. So only the uh, the plain version, the plain stock version, does not have that sticker at the back. Okay, so this blue version has that as well on uh, the number plates. Bulldog. Okay, I'm getting a sense that this is actually based on, on a real car. Okay, what plates is this? Okay, if you do know where where does this uh car real one to one car reside, right? Do let me know. Okay, that'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. Okay, so that is uh the blue. I think that's pretty standard. The main one that I want to show you is this. Okay. Uh, so this is how uh, I kept it in a box because I want to show you how it's packed. Okay, they have they have a separate ble uh, blister pack at the back. I like the smart mechanism how it holds the motor compo in and it holds the whole blister in as well so that it doesn't fly around being when when it's being transported. Okay, all right. So I'll get it out of the box. Oh, uh, display wise is pretty standard. Okay, display wise pretty standard. I do quite like that spoon. Uh, color as well. This is actually a design on the on the body itself. So they have extended it all the way uh, Onto the packaging. So that is very nice. Now this one number 95. It's uh, the real car actually do exist um, It's it actually resides in Malaysia. I've got a chance to, to check it out a um, Couple of months ago uh, while I was at uh, First Mile Auto uh, in Shiraz So it, it was there and then uh, I got a chance to, to do a quick walkabout the other day, uh, so that's why it was it was doing a Facebook live session, uh, live chill out session. So that's why um, do do look us up uh, on Facebook, yeah, Collector's Cube, uh, Q U B E, and then in the meantime, um, do smack that like button as well uh, because that will help me out 
on the YouTube algorithms and then if you like my videos, you like what you're watching, um, hit the subscribe button as well. Okay, hang on, I almost got it out of the base. Now the base is pretty much standard. Um, hang on, I'll just show it to you. It's pretty much standard. Uh, here we go. This one has the Spoon Spots custom livery, okay, with motor combo. So the motor combo is also in a spoon livery, that's very nice. Oh, okay, there we go. I'll just put this aside. We'll check out the motor composer later. Now, this one is a little bit more different than the rest. Uh, quite a few notable difference. One is um, the rims. Okay, from the, the side view, right? First thing, the biggest difference would be the wheels. Okay, the rims. This is actually very similar to, to the real thing uh, in one-to-one -one scale. It's also in this rims, a uh, five-spoke. All right. And then the other uh, thing that is different, right? The spoilers at the back, the two wings, the, G the, the wing on top, and also a little spoiler at the back down here. So this also exists on a real car, uh, very nicely pulled off by, by Eno. That's actually very nice. So the wing, the, the, the sunroof is there, okay. Oh, look at that, the spoon colors. Damn. Very nice, very nice. So even these, wordings they do exist on on the real car so it is it is basically a replica of the the the, the thing that uh, of, of a real car okay so at the back um previously you couldn't tell but from this one right it it's more obvious now the back bumper is a separate piece i'm just wondering if i think they did, did, did they no they didn't so the bumper is a separate piece, so that kind of gives uh, an impression, you know, they may make um, this, the, the Honda City Turbo in a different kind of bo uh, body kit. Because the front, the front, is it a different part? The front doesn't look like it. Yeah, I think it is a separate piece as well. The front bumper is a separate piece, the back bumper is a separate piece, so there is a possibility they will make this in a different body kit. But look at that. I like the indicator lights on the bottom the bottom there okay so these are also made separate piece rather than just a print on so this is actually very nice this i believe this is actually a fog lamp rather than indicator lights i think this one the the printed one is indicator lights the bottom one probably it's a fog lamp instead still very nice very very nice <laughs> oh i didn't because I saw when I saw photos, right, I didn't really look into it. But now that I got it in my hands, then I realized, oh, oh, so they basically make it to replicate the one-to-one -one scale car. Nice. So number ninety-five, as per what it appear on the real car as well. Okay, this one is very, very tight. I'm not sure if I can open it up for you. Yeah. So sometimes that's what I tend to do rather than using my fingernails or any other tools. I prefer to use black tack to open to open the compartments because that will lower the risk of paint chip and stuff. Okay, there we go. I do quite like you can open up quite high um, so that you can see all the details in the engine, the engine bay. Uh, inside on the engine bay, so far it's the same throughout. Okay, so far it's the same throughout. All right, let's go. Let's check out the back. I like how they black out the tail lights as well. That is, uh, as per the real car, the spoon logo, the spoon um, sticker, car sticker at the back as well. Okay, oh, the fire extinguisher at the back. Nice. The roll cage as well. Nice. That is that is also a, a rep true representation of the real thing. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm not sure if you can tell it's a spoon um, steering wheel uh, as per the real thing as well. Um, the rest of the compartments, as far as I know, they are stock. So interior-wise, uh, so far the previous three release, they are pretty much the same um, in, in blue and white trimmings. While this is in racing bucket seats with uh, the, the uh, am I right to call it the six-point harness safety belt. Okay, as per the real car as well. <laughs> nice so they oh they really pull this off very nicely i'm impressed i'm impressed nice nice okay so that's the uh the the, the car and then okay let's 
do a quick check out on let's do a quick look at the motocompo that I have here okay here we go mm, so even this even this looks oh shit <laughs> nice so they went all the way and make this a uh, replica of the real thing as well yes this do, do exist and it yes it does sit inside the the Honda City turbo um, however uh, in the real thing right yes it definitely falls down okay it definitely falls down and goes into the car but uh, it doesn't work here in 64 scale because um, they are not able to do they didn't do the mechanism where you can fold the handle down you can keep it you can keep it and and um, put it in so no it doesn't fit uh, we have tried it in the previous video so yeah there you go see the handle's a little bit too high and I believe it's a little bit I think the width is okay it's just that I don't think um, the height of the handle you know can go in we must be able to fold it down then we can consider to move it in okay so I guess it's a challenge of you know um, being doing it in this manner uh, in this size and then being able to to do that um, mechanism the only people I know who are able to pull this off would probably probably be um, legit miniatures uh, he has some crazy stuff as well he makes a lot of um, garage accessories especially um, he's, they are on Instagram and also on TikTok do look them up there I think I'll put a link there as well and um, right nice nice <laughs> Just nice, just nice of uh, put, putting it on um, on a Monster Miniatures uh, display. So most of the items here, right, are uh, actually a few of the items, okay, apart from the furniture, these are actually from, um, I think from a brand from China, I think. Um, while, you know, you see the boxes here and the boxes there, and then figures, this too is actually new um, mechanic figures from Monster Miniature. We have a couple of figures at the back here, and the other one that, that impressed me, from miniature works is this freaking magazine rack oh look at that look at this thing man okay legit okay this thing is damn cool 64 scale magazine rack okay <laughs> so if you're interested to to check out more of these kind of accessories and stuff right uh facebook collector's cube okay and also uh monster miniature on Facebook and Instagram and uh, legit um, miniatures on Instagram and also on TikTok so I think that's it for uh, for, for my round of sharing uh, this time remember that if you haven't hit the like button do smack that like button um, because that will help me out on the algorithms hit that subscribe button and the bell as well so that you don't miss on any of my diecast videos um, so that's it for this video thank you so much for joining us um, take care bye